Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and if you're not new here, welcome back. My name is Ikra and today's video is going to be all about my experience shopping with Instagram jewellery brands. So if you're anything like me, you will have liked a couple of pictures on Instagram of jewellery and suddenly every single ad that's been heading your way for the last couple of weeks has been of different brands for jewellery and I have been very very tempted by these and as you know if you haven't followed me for a while I have recently decided to start experimenting with my hijab styles a bit more and I've been favouring this one because it means that I can accessorise. That's the main reason, there's no deep reason behind it, it just means that I can wear earrings and necklaces and um, just enjoy wearing accessories. The only piece of jewellery that I've always 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 loved is rings and I have kind of like said to myself I only want to invest in high quality pieces because I used to always buy like the cheaper ones from high street brands and my fingers would end up like changing color and nobody really likes that so in terms of rings I do try to go for high quality with necklaces and earrings I don't think it matters as much personally like obviously it's nice to invest but unless your ears are super super sensitive which alhamdulillah mine are not um then I I love like wearing different sort of statement pieces and different styles and I love my hoops but I also love different shapes as well. There is going to be a humongous earring haul. When I say humongous I mean like over 40 pairs of earrings coming up on the channel soon so make sure you click subscribe if you're interested in that. But yeah today's video is going to be about two brands. Um, Boho Moon I believe is how you say one of them and Hey Harper. Now the majority of this video is going to be a Boho Moon haul and a little discussion of how I found their products so far and then I'm going to talk to you about Hey Harper at the end and I'm going to talk to you about if I think Instagram jewellery brands are a bit of a scam and if I think that it's worth investing in them or not and some of them like I said are not really investment some of them are more fashion jewellery pieces but some of them you're ending up paying a big amount of money for jewellery which technically is not worth like that at all so anyway Boho Moon they have got 428 thousand followers on Instagram they are a huge 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 brand on Instagram and what sort of drew me to them was in their bio it says that they have tarnish free and waterproof jewelry now like I said with this whole like wanting to go over quality over quantity you want pieces that are gonna last that are gonna sort of stand the test of time and that you're gonna buy them and not like only be able to wear them a handful of times before they end up getting ruined so I went onto their website and this is when they had the five pound sale on and based on like reviews and what I've sort of heard other people say about this site and this Instagram store they tend to have this five pound sale deal on like every so often like every couple of months they roll it out but otherwise their pieces sort of are around the 20 pound mark maybe a bit less maybe a bit more depending on what they are so for a couple of weeks actually at least two weeks all like I say about two thirds of their website was on sale for five pounds per piece which was insane to me I was like that's crazy like you're saving so much money um, if you're buying it and I thought it'd be a good opportunity then to try the brand out and the pieces that I picked up they got to me really quickly they sent me out in this really cute gold bag and each of the pieces were put inside one of these pink sort of sachets so that none of the jewellery got mixed up or got tangled up or anything and I've been wearing two of those pieces almost every single day for the last week and a half I wanted to film this sooner but I've just not been feeling well so anyway um the first piece that I've been wearing and what I will do by the way is I will leave the price that's on the website now on the screen because as far as I I pay five pounds for these and obviously it's up to you guys if you want to wait around for a five pound deal or if you see something you really like you might want to pick it up now but what I have recently got by the way guys and I'm absolutely obsessed with it is a little ring box from eBay um it's unfortunately it came and it was a bit battered and it's like a bit 
it's like it's not it's, it's a cardboard box that didn't day with a plastic screen but it just means that all of my my rings are in one place safely and I can easily see where they are I need to put them away when I don't want to wear them anymore but if you want me to talk you through like my whole jewelry collection then let me know I will definitely do that but I'm not going to go into it now because this video will be super long otherwise this ring in here is the first one that I'm going to show you guys okay so this is a Nara wishbone ring and I got this by the way I had to totally guess the sizes but I got this with the intention of wearing it on my my main like my pointy finger here and this finger like I had I I'm five foot seven, I'm a tall girl, I don't have pretty dainty petite fingers, they're just, they don't run in my family. <laughs> so yeah, this, like, I'm big sizes when it comes to rings, and this is a size nine, which is a UK size S, and it was extra large on the website, um, and it fits absolutely perfectly, as you can see, and I think it looks so good next to my solid gold band that my parents got me, and I absolutely love this. Now, like I said, I've worn this almost every single day for about 10, 11, 12 days now, and it has lasted really well. It's not tarnished at all, and this is one of their tarnish-free rings. Now, I did take it off like two days ago because I'm not used to having a ring on this finger like all the time like you're sleeping in it and stuff like these rings here I sleep in them and but this one I, I'm gonna interchange anyway but I really like this really glad I picked it up and so far the quality is top notch the next thing that I'm going to show you guys something else I've been wearing the whole time since I got my order and every single time that I've showered with this I've left it on just to see if this whole tarnish free claim is correct or not and this is a their luxe initial necklace and it is in the colour gold. And again, like I said, everything that I've got was for £5. You can see this is a chain that it comes with. It's quite a nice chain. It's like one of the twisted sort of plait chains. And then the pendant is a square and it has W on it. Obviously for my husband's name. Hashtag super cheesy. Ha ha ha. Um, but the only thing I will say is that every day I wear this necklace, like I have not taken this necklace off since I got married, again it's a gift for my parents, and this does tend to get caught up in the necklace, it's not a big deal, but like, because I've been keeping them both on, it does seem to get a bit caught up in them, I wish that the necklace was a bit longer, and I thought it would be a bit longer, it's not that long, it's, hang on, it's up to there, so it's okay, it's not super long, obviously you can extend them with a necklace extender, that's absolutely fine, but that's what it looks like, um, against my top and like I said the colour has stayed really well I've showered with this I've got soap on this it's not tarnished at all it hasn't changed colour at all uh, there's nothing that's been chipped or anything so again I'm really really happy with that purchase and I won't be wearing it all the time but I will definitely be keeping this in my collection for a while it's it's very trendy right now but I think it's something that I will like I'd want to keep for a bit as well so the next item is the only item from my whole order that I got that doesn't say tarnish free. So I will not be sharing with this. I will be only wearing this when, um, you know, when I feel like it, but then taking it off as well, making sure I'm a bit more careful with this piece. But it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a singular rose necklace and it's in the color gold again. But you can tell that it's a different material to the initial one because this is more of a lighter gold. It's not more of it, it's, it's less of a yellow gold. It's less of a strong gold in that sense. But uh, hopefully it's focusing. You can see the beautiful rose detailing and it is like a, it's like a fallen rose, as you can see. And it's got two leaves there. Roses are my favorite flower ever. And I've not actually worn this yet, so I'm interested to see the length of it. Okay, so it comes down to there, which again is not as long as I would have thought. I don't know, I thought it'd be about to there-ish. So I probably would use a necklace extender with this, which I'm going to get from eBay. But like I said, this is this is a necklace that I'd wear and then um, make sure that I definitely take it off and put it back on my necklace storage. Um, I would not be wearing this all the time because it's not the tarnish free. It's definitely a different material to the W necklace as well. If I just like show you them both side by side, you should be able to see that the colour of them is quite different. So obviously there's something different in this one 
compared to this. But yeah, anyway, that's not, I mean, it's not bad. And I'm, I'm like for five pounds, it's like, I really cannot complain. And obviously it's one size. So the next thing that I've got here is another ring. This is a shift ring and I got this in a size eight, so UKP. And I just really like the design of this. It reminded me of the ring that I wear all the time. It's just a plain gold band. And then it's got this sort of star detailing on it as you can see and this does fit on my big pointy finger here you can see it's a little bit tight but yeah in terms of the color it's quite similar to my like this is my 24 karat gold one it's, it's quite similar you can tell they're a little bit different um it does give me slight cartier ring vibes as well obviously it's not a dupe there is dupes to the Cartier ring on this I actually do want that but I I like this and I like that I can wear it on this finger or I can also wear it as a thumb ring and I when I was younger I was obsessed with the idea of having a thumb ring and I genuinely would be like nine ten years old and circling all the gold rings in the Argus catalogue like I want this for my birthday and nobody ever got me it I don't know why like I don't know why nobody took my thumb ring ambition seriously but I used to be like I used I don't know I must have seen it on someone and really really liked the way it looked um this can work as a thumb ring it's a little bit tight but it definitely could work I also picked up this so this is the dainty herringbone necklace and it's just a very, very different chain. You could obviously put any pendant that you wanted on this, or you could just wear it as a chain by itself. Um, it's it's a very different chain to any of the chains that I own. It's kind of got this, I don't know if you, how well you can tell, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but it's got this almost like this 3D like rope effect. And I'm, I'm not sure really, like I just, I like the idea of it. I liked, in terms of like layering necklaces, I think it will look really nice. Let's see. Okay, so can you see how like I wish the rose one was longer? Because if the rose one was down to here, that would look so nice together. Because this would have its own sort of space on my neck slash chest. And then the rose one would hang a bit lower, you know? So, but I, I think it's a nice chain. It's definitely nice. You can't adjust the size of this, like, it doesn't have spaces for you to adjust it in, but it's a nice chain, and I like the colour of it. I just, yeah, I just think I need to pair it with, like, longer necklaces for it to kind of look nice. All right, the next ring is called the Sense Plain Band Ring, and again, I got this in a size 8, and this pretty much, to be honest with you guys, just looks like a plain gold wedding ring band and I love these kind of rings. It's a nice dome shape, it's a very nice looking gold and again I can squeeze it onto this finger and it fit, It does fit the finger well. Like to be fair I, I feel like this one would be less likely to fall off than the size 9 one because it does fit it well and it does actually go like really nicely with this as well. So I've got now a selection of rings that I can um, switch back and forth from and again it's supposed to be tarnish free as well which is awesome and so far because the herringbone one has stood the test of time I'm really hopeful that this will too and actually I think this makes a better thumb ring than the other one so yeah that's the next and almost final item that I picked right. up so I also picked up this ring here this is the Freya ring and this is a get this is in the size nine same as that wishbone ring the first one that I got and I like this it's another band ring but it's got little ridges in it so it's, it makes a zigzag pattern and because it is size nine it'll fit very easily onto this finger and again or onto my thumb um I do think this is more of like a yellowy gold than my real gold ones so I don't know like if I love the look of them two together but if I'm going for like a super super golden hand then definitely <laughs> like um and or again this would look pretty cool on the thumb as well maybe not with this band but yeah I love rings you guys I absolutely love them I think that they're just uh, such an easy way to add something extra I love like 
layering, staturing. And I think this is a really like affordable way to enjoy that kind of trend without having to spend like hundreds or thousands of pounds on jewelry. And then the final item that I got are these Malibu um, cubic zirconia earrings. And like I said, they were five pounds in that sale. I don't know how much they are full price, but they're absolutely tiny. Let me just show you guys them in the packet. They are teeny, teeny, tiny. And these are basically what you call like a huggy for an ear. So they go into your piercing and they kind of hug your ear. They just go right, right around your ear. So these are not for my main piercing, but they are for my second piercings, which you might have noticed I had my ears pierced. I did vlog it as well. So those clips will be quite funny for you guys to watch if you're interested. But yeah, I had two more piercings put into this ear, one piercing put into this ear mainly so that I can wear cute little things like this in my second piercing to go along with my first set and then I had a third one just here just so that I could have like a cute little diamond um stud or something really small and sparkly just in the third one and yeah I just think these are really cool um you can find very expensive versions of these online but for five pounds it's like you know what I can't say no and alhamdulillah my ears are not too sensitive I just obviously need to wait for these piercings to heal I've got like a month and a, a week to go but when they are healed completely and at the two month mark then I'll definitely be swapping these over and that is everything that I ordered for myself a quick review of boho moon I think that I personally would only buy from them when they have these sales because I feel like when websites have these kind of sales, the profit they're making on you guys on a regular basis is just too much for me. Like I just think if you're going to or you have previously reduced your stock to such a low amount, then I will wait patiently for you to do the same thing again. But in terms of the quality, I'm very happy with it. I will obviously let you guys know if anything in this haul like lets me down because you know what I found really weird that even though they had 400 and whatever whatever thousand followers on Instagram there really wasn't many videos about them reviewing them I think I found like two that was just to do with Bo Boho Moon and yeah I just wanted to sort of give you guys my perspective as someone from the UK as well I'm pretty sure they're UK based but yeah I'm very happy with everything that I got um, obviously I just wish the necklaces were a little bit longer but that's not a big deal and I'm very happy that they're tarnish free so if you go on their website and you scroll all the way down to jewellery care that's what I tend to do whenever I find a new brand or any like brand whether it's on Instagram or not I always go on their jewellery care and if they've got something like we suggest you don't wear our jewellery with perfume and creams and water and da, da 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 that's when you know that it's like very poorly like plated with gold and it's not worth your money because I actually had this experience where when I first started working I saved up and I brought myself a Monica Vernada ring it was the Riviera hoop diamond ring and I was so excited and it's, it was, it's absolutely it's a beautiful ring it's stunning I remember going to Selfridges trying it on like I've been thinking can I drop 160 pounds on this ring and only then for the plating to wear off within a week and this is me being careful this is me taking it off before I wash my hands this is me not putting cream on my hands um at the same time as the ring is on there etc etc like I was so careful because I'd invested in this and the plating came off in a week and I was so upset I like went to them and I was like look this is crazy, like, how can this happen? And they were like, oh, sorry about that, it must have been, like, a faulty purchase, please can you return to us and we'll, we'll give you a new one for free. And then the same thing happened two weeks later with the second one. So I was like, I just want my money back at this point, like, I, I can't believe I paid £160 for a ring for the plating to come off so easily. Yet, yes, there are tiny, tiny little diamonds in that ring, but that does not mean that the plating should be such poor quality. So with that in mind, a little quick review of Boho Moon is that the fact that they've managed to find a way to create their pieces where the plating, it's not plated, that's the thing, it's stainless steel. So on in this case, I went onto Jewelry Care and it says, here at Boho Moon, we offer a range of price points with a range of materials available. Each item will have a sticker to show if it's stainless steel or sterling silver. So stainless steel, most of our items are stainless steel with gold, silver or rose gold plating. Our stainless steel items are our highest quality and are tarnish free, meaning that they can get wet and be worn every day without the colour fading. Please choose these items if you'd like longer lasting waterproof durable jewellery. 
Though that means that on their website they are claiming to their 400 or wherever how many people who follow them and even more people who see them on a daily basis because of the ads, they're claiming that their work, their jewellery is not going to tarnish because of the stainless steel, but it's still plated. Now, so far, I've put those items to the test and they've been true to their word. This necklace here is going to tarnish, it is, because it is a mix, plated mixed metal and they say on their website these items need to be looked after carefully to sustain their plating do not wear a plated jewelry in the shower while bathing working out sleeping as it can strip the gold or silver plating so i totally understand that and i will be taking that off like when when you know when i go to bed so i appreciate the fact they've got different options there and i appreciate that they actually can have five pound sales because clearly they can afford to do that so i personally would say that if you're looking into Bohemian definitely definitely wait for a sale i'm sure that now black friday is coming up really soon they're gonna have sales on but yeah i definitely think that, that it's worth looking into and worth picking up a few pieces maybe for yourself maybe for your friends family because i i'm really happy with it and i think that finally i found a company who can provide like high quality lasting jewelry which is not going to break the bank now that brings me on to the second brand which i told you guys i would be talking about and that is hey harper hey harper have an instagram ad that looks so aesthetically pleasing and so i don't know every time i saw it it caught my eye and i was like i need the jewelry that's in that ad and i will show you it right here so you can see it's sponsored i do not follow this company it is sponsored and you can see her ring there you can see the necklaces true laid necklaces and the hoop earring so i think wow like that looks really really nice i love the style of that chunky gold ring i i would love to have like a chunky ring to wear on my like forefinger like not every day but like now and again so i go onto their instagram and they're not based in the uk they uh, are based in lisbon and they've got 24.8 thousand followers and their whole Instagram is just showing their, their pieces and the pieces are really really pretty like there's this necklace here and it's just a beautiful little heart and it's so like dainty but it's just it looks like it's totally like up my alley and the tone of the gold here is really important because the tone always seems to be this really beautiful warm golden colour. Now let me show you a close up of the ring. This is the ring. That's on their Instagram. I'm going to go onto their website, which is heyharpershop.com. They have free delivery on orders over $90, sorry, 90 euros. So I had to pay for delivery, which I hate doing, but I thought this ring is so nice that I'm, it's fine. I'm going to do it anyway. This is a ring. It's called the Zoe Stackable Ring, and it's £25.87. So I got five boho moon items for the price of this one ring okay now obviously right now you would not be able to get five items from boho moon for that price because they are not on sale but the point is at the time that i did all these orders i got five boho moon items for this one ring so i thought this ring had better be special it better be amazing if we look on the website they've got this picture here and you can see the ring they've got this picture here it's a different different hand different outfit you can see the ring again and you've got this picture here. And you might have noticed that in the third picture, the ring has suddenly grown. And there's three of them, which is a bit odd. Whereas the first two pictures, in this one here, and this one here, the ring is a double stack. So tell me why, when I receive this ring, it looks like this. This is all I get, okay? And it's, it's just one ring by itself. That's completely false advertisement in my eyes because on the website, on their Instagram page, the ring is doubled up every single time. And I'm going to check here again. Nowhere does it say that this ring is, is not as it's shown in the picture. This ring is only one piece. They should have at least had this ring by itself worn by somebody. Um, in the first picture, the main picture, and then show that it's stackable rather than just showing that it is a double ring because that's what I started to get. This is what the ring looks like on. It's a nice ring. It's a hundred percent more yellowy, lighter coloured, and not as golden as it looks on the website. I don't know how well you can see that, 
but it's not the same exact shade like even next to this boho moon one you can see that this one is m more golden this one's more yellowy i personally don't have a massive problem with that i think that looks okay it can look a bit cheap to be quite honest with you but it looks all right what really irked me about is this was number one it doesn't look like it does on the site this is not the same ring this is this is half of the ring that i thought i was gonna get as far as i'm concerned you know it's half number two the way this ring came now this is one size okay so it's i knew it's gonna be one that you can adjust but i will show you a picture of what it looked like when it came these bits here were curved in explains to me why my husband broke a pair of scissors to try and uncurve this and make this fit my finger because it was so curved in that it was like going like that and there's no way that a, a finger shape can fit through it and he actually like i'm going to show you guys the scissors actually broke because this ring was so hard to open and adjust now if i'm paying 25 pounds for a ring that doesn't even look like the ring on the picture you best believe it should be able to be easily adjustable and high enough quality no i'm i'm just really disappointed with that and i think that i feel like personally i feel like i was scammed in that sense so i paid around 30 or pounds altogether because i had to get paid for delivery and it does say it's a waterproof piece again like boho moon it doesn't tarnish and it's their first stainless steel ring which means that taking rings off to wash your hands is now just a memory the color remains perfect even if you wear your necklace every day hmm this is a ring love i don't know why that's his necklace when it's a ring like that like i know it's a small company and i know i'm going in a bit hard with them because i'm just disappointed in the service that i had gotten or i have received but yeah personally i would not be buying from them again i feel like the pictures are heavily heavily filtered to the point where the material of the metal looks different to what it does in real life this feels a lot less solid a lot less solid even though it's much bigger than this this boho moon ring feels solid it feels weighted this feels like a piece of cheap artificial jewelry it feels like something you buy from primark for two quid and the fact that i paid like 30 pounds for it is, has definitely annoyed me and the fact that i broke a pair of scissors over it has annoyed me as well and i just feel cheated i feel like if this is the original ring this is a picture they should be putting out to everybody of it just being by itself not of it being sacked because that's just false advertisement so yeah would not recommend that brand and that's the end of my little instagram jewelry brand review i think it is hit and miss i think you need to look at the comments very carefully you need to look at the reviews very carefully and definitely do your research Hopefully this video has been helpful and if it has and if you enjoyed it and you want to see more jewellery, makeup, beauty, skincare content can then definitely click subscribe and I will see you in my very next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.